The world's third biggest nuclear accident. Russia's cupboard of secrets, like their dolls, can never be wholly opened. But the revelations which do tumble out are enough to stun the world. One of these is the Mayak nuclear accident. A secret nuclear plant built near Kishtim between 1945 to 48 comprised of a plutonium processing plant as well as nuclear reactors. But a lack of awareness about how to manage the then new nuclear technologies as well as the pressure to match and beat the USA in nuclear capabilities proved lethal. The cooling system in a liquid reactor waste storage tank at the facility had not been working efficiently since an year, but this went unmonitored. Consequently, the result came on September 29, 1957, as the temperature inside this tank reached close to 350 degrees Celsius, and the tank exploded. Said to be about 1 meter thick and 160 ton heavy, the concrete lid covering the storage tank was blown off, and the nuclear waste inside now entered the air too. The fallout zone, where these radioactive substances such as cesium-137 and strontium-90 were present, extended over as far as 52,000 square kilometers. Despite knowing that this rapidly spreading radiation could be lethal, authorities preferred to keep residents unaware about what had actually happened and dragging evacuation from the zone for as long as two years. Most of the world too had no clue about the incident. It was in 1960 that Russian physicist Lev Tumerman saw a zone with no people or farms and where road signs asked drivers to drive at maximum speed. In 1976, another Soviet scientist, Zoharis Medvedev, came out to the Western press with an account of what happened in Mayak. In fact, even the US government was aware of the incident through its spy planes. It instead chose to hide the fact so as to prevent opposition to its own nuclear facilities in America. It was found that in the initial years after the plant became operational, the nuclear plant was discharging some of its radioactive waste directly into two surrounding lakes as well as to the river Techa. The Techa goes on to join the river Ob, the seventh largest river in the world. One of the lakes, Lake Kaziltash, was too contaminated to use, after which the waste was being dumped into nearby Lake Karashe. Only in 1953 were waste storage tanks introduced. Today, the USSR has robed off the entire area citing both radiation and preservation of nature. Called the East Ural Nature Reserve, the area is off limits for outsiders. Google will tell you that Lake Karasha is the most polluted spot on the earth. What it will not tell you is that the lake has been completely filled up with concrete blocks, rock and soil, making it a lake only in name. The much bigger Lake Kiziltash seems to be in a better condition, though there is no mention of its present status in the media. Despite all this, the Mayak nuclear site is still operational, though it claims to not work with plutonium now. Just to put things in perspective for you, after Fukushima and Chernobyl, the Kishtim disaster comes third, ranked on severity of the nuclear accident.